Hi, my money people. Welcome back. I'm Nat at My Magic. Thank you for joining us again for another Freddie Mercury Kill Nun Light. Yes, you asked for it. She's back. Well, virtually. Hi, Chase. Hello, everyone. Yay. So I have so many people. Oh, it's not the same without Trace. Where's Trace? We want Trace. Well, you got Trace. <laughs> Yay. So I love it too. Much better. I'm much more bubblier. I still feel sick as a dog and she is too. Yeah. How, yeah, how are you feeling? Actually, I'm feeling pretty good this morning. Oh, well, that's good. But remember, you're two days behind me, so you'll go downhill again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like oh, terrible. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> well, I got no sleep last night because I could not stop coughing. So I might start coughing again through this. We'll see how we go. So I have had a sneak peek, top shelf. Uh, not happy again. I don't know what's well. I kind of do. I didn't put cones in again and because I've been so sick and I was glazing sick I'm blaming that for my glazing disasters at the moment Talking about that the peacock bowl from the last kill none load that was didn't run didn't work I well, uh, Straight after I turned this off. I went out there. I had a nap hissy fit and Trace will attest that I do I get cranky I got cranky and so I got out my stroking coats that I had done the little dots and I just did lines right around. And then because that was wet and I had to get him back on, it was like one o'clock in the morning. I just got the light flux and I just did lines of that as well because I couldn't brush it because it was still wet. Chucked it back in, it's down the bottom. I'm quite sure it would have pulled, pinholed, done all sorts of horrible things. So I'm scared to see it. I think I've probably ruined it, <laughs> but I was impatient. I just did it. So let's get into it he's warm so i might need my gloves all right so uh needed another chopstick bowl so i don't know this is really weird the only thing i can think top shelf is never as warm but it's meant to be winter wood light -like flux and i think i must have mixed my glazes up or something because it's got a pink tinge to it it's really weird and it didn't run it's matte it's not glossy it's really weird. Yeah. So I don't know what I've done yeah, to that. It's quite yellow. Yellow? It's very yellow. It's weird. So I don't have any idea what I did because even if I had a fused amaryllis, it would have been had crystals or maybe soft red would go cream. I don't know what I did. So that's a mystery. So on the markets tomorrow, that's why I'm rushing this and you can hear it pinging. Winterwood pings crazy anyway, but it's pinging more because it's not happy with me. Um, but the market is tomorrow, so I need to get it all out, get any sanded that need it, grinding, whatever. Um, and uh, I will take it and I'll take anything. Like I'm even gonna take that bubble, chip, chip and dip, the unicorn bubble. There's so many of you guys said, oh, I like it, take it, someone will buy and it. I liked it too. Try to send it too. Yeah, so I'm going to take it as well because I don't have time to do anything with it anyway. So I might as well take it and I'll take this. But then if it doesn't sell, I'll bring, put some more like flux on it and put it in deeper where it's hotter. Maybe that was a problem too. Um, but talking about my angle grinder, I'm sorry. I meant to look on YouTube and get the name, but somebody commented and said, call my angle grinder Arnie. So I'm going to call him Arnie because he does all the muscle work. And I love that name. So he's Arnie the angle grinder. So thank you. So that is not going up top now. This is horrible. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, ow! Oh, that's hot. Okay, gloves. Sorry, I know gloves are annoying, but um, again, I had to get it done. I was hoping overnight it would have got down nice and cold, but obviously not. So this is the first time attempting this form. This is one of Anne rules that I told you about chicken dip forms. Love the form. Love, that. love, love, love the form. So I think that form wise, I'm definitely doing it again, it will be popular. But it looks like I coughed influenza germs on a petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is Emerald Falls on Honey Flux, which normally, well, I've only done a couple of times. It's a lot lighter and it's a lot prettier again, maybe too cool on top shelf. So I thought, again, I'm going to take it tomorrow. Obviously, it's the splobs in the bottom I'm not happy with. Going to take it tomorrow. If it doesn't sell, I, what I thought was I'll put Emerald Falls all over the, the whole thing so that it's green. And then I'll put some more either honey or light flux on the rim 
to lighten the rim, just around the rim. But again, you'll get someone who'll go, oh, oh that's exactly what I've been looking for. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should display it with chips and dips in it, then you can't <laughs> see the bottom. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, somebody who loves green. Oh, look, I don't mind that the, the um, outside, the solid green part, I don't mind. It's just the influenza petri dish bottom part <laughs> that I don't like. Oh, so anyway, I was actually going to splob um, Smoky Molo on it as well, and I didn't. But yeah, I don't know. But anyway, that's all I've seen. So let's move on down. All right, so again, like with the bubble um, chip and dip, hopefully I've got some rewards underneath here. I've got grog on here again. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so straight away I've got to get it out. You know, sometimes you've got to put your hands on things. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's so pretty. So that's um, Jessica Putnam Phillips's new daisy uh, transfer and then I just painted it so it's the blue one. When I put it on, it was a bit um, splodgy, like bits were missing. So I thought, well, I'll just paint it. And oh, I love that. That's so yeah, that's bright. beautiful. That's yeah. a clack, 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 clack. <laughs> <laughs> clack, clack, clack. Can you not clap at the moment? because like, I'm holding my phone. Oh, <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> You can tell right. that she's not well. Yeah, I'm not well and blonde moment. That's a typical blonde comment of mine. Uh, but that, again, as I always say, eye-catching. That's very eye-catching with how bright that is. I love that. Put that up there. Oh, I can see that pinging like crazy. Uh, chip and dip that I am happy with. Yay. Yay. So, oh, your marble. my black and, black and blue stained marble, but with the feather transfers in it. Love it. Love it, but you know why I love it. That's the dipping clear. And it's clear as crystal clear. It's not milky. Awesome. Yay. So that's, the, there's another one, I think, further down in here that I did as well. But yay, because that's the first time I've had it work without going milky. And if it was very runny, I added more water and it did drip off. But that's good. Yay, finally. Because I ran out of the brushing clear. I refused to let myself buy more. I want, because I mean, a whole bucket of this stuff, it cost me a fortune. So rather than just sitting the bucket there, I wanted to force myself to use it. And that's beautiful i mean i love the black and blue marbled anyway oh the bum the bum it's got a bit of yuck but i can clean that up nice yay so that's good i've got a chip and dip that i like to take to the market so i can be proud of now these are all pretty ones look at that oh i like that oh look at the handle i got some more dribble dribble dribbles I know what that is. What's that, Chase? Because I don't know. <laughs> is it Storm on the bottom? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? But I don't think I used Storm. And it's too blue for power turquoise. Um, that is, let's see if we can find it. Oh, I think, yes it is. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> you would never, ever, ever guess that. That's why I didn't know. But uh, you got close with Storm. It's actually deep sea on the bottom. And then seaweed, which you know I hate, and I love that. So deep sea, actually, there's deep sea all over. Seaweed top half, blue hydrangea over the seaweed, oh. and then light flux over that. So that's gorgeous. That's very pretty. I yeah, like that. I love that. That's so pretty. There's almost, I don't know if you can see it in camera, but there's almost some purpley... Yes. bits which is the blue hydrangea look at the bottom how you've got some of the purpley and light flux does that to that browny pinky sort of tone oh wow and I've deep sea on the bottom because it's a celadon they can go on the bottom wow so I didn't put that on a cookie and look how close I got seaweed and light flux you're just asking for trouble aren't you but that's 
Darling, I love that. That will be repeated. Wow, definitely gonna repeat that. And this one too, look at this. That is an oh my gloriousness. Look at those weird runs. I have never seen that before. Instead of dribbles, you've got like these hair lines. That's gorgeous. Look at inside. That it's kind of rem makes me think of static electricity. Yeah, yeah. And that looks like the um, lilac white that I love. The HF lilac mixed with the HF white, the purple in the bottom, and then light flux. So that one is. Um, Oh, what is that one? Oh, there's so many. Um, oh, I don't even think I've got it written down. It's like smoking a low and something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it is. No, I don't think I have it. So I will put it in the comments. Because I glazed them all the last glaze and then I wrote, rewrote any I didn't go through the kiln and obviously missed that one. Um, it almost looks like blue rutile, but I know it's not because I didn't use blue rutile. Inside is just the purple and the light flux. Oh, no, you know what that is? That's, um, you're right, that's a smoky Merlot textured turquoise. Oh, is that to say textured turquoise? Yeah, it is. because And I did have that written down because I saw it before. Oh, there it is. Texture turquoise smoky merlot light flux. That's pretty. So there you go, that's smoky merlot by itself inside. I never realised it was flux. so purple by itself. So that's right. So I did um smoky merlot all over and then textured turquoise and then light flux on the rim. But I've never seen light flux do those pretty dribbles like that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that's pretty. I wish They're I knew. my kind of dribble. Yeah, I wish I knew how I got it to do that because <laughs> it was just a band and it was two coats. Maybe that's just how it reacts with that combo, but that's being repeated for sure. Maybe with the textured turquoise inside as well because I don't know if I like just the smoky mellow light flux. Inside. Oh, I do. Yeah, I don't dislike it, but it hasn't. And interestingly, it hasn't done the feathery run, so it must be the textured turquoise. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, me and um, purple and turquoise at the moment, I'm just loving that so much. So that's, oh, definitely another repeat. So yay, reward for the Petri dish chip and dip. <laughs> right, next shelf. Oh, oh, another kiln prop fell. Okay. Oh, oh no. All right, so this one is just, oh, it's burnt out here. Uh, so that is just lavender mixing clear and weeping plum mixing clear and I did a heart roller stamp. It's not burnt out actually. I think it's just because it's the mixing cleared. It's just how it's- It's just on the raised bit yeah. that goes white on. Yeah, and yeah, and because I've lightened it already anyway, so it might've been better the full lavender, but that's all right. Uh, and just the mixing clear with weeping plum inside. So, you know I me. I like that because it's purple. subtle, you know me. I like the subtle stuff. You like the outside too? Yeah. I think it's a bit burnt off looking. I don't think so. I, I like, like the like colours. It's more muted, more subtle. Yeah, I do like the colours. So, okay. Right, um, and... Oh, wow. So that's am amaryllis over honey flux maybe? It makes me think of poppy fields. It does. You've said that with Amaryllis before uh, when I've said to you what's that and you've said poppy fields. Um, which is a jungle gem. So that one I think it's um uh, Oh no that's flux blossom amaryllis. So that's my oh. first time using flux blossom. So I got that because of Sarah Walton she lines her mugs with flux blossom quite often and i thought oh that's so pretty and it is hard to see in camera i know from her unload but it's such a pretty soft pink 
So thank you, Sarah. I'm glad I got that. Can you see that inside on camera? How pretty that is coming across? <laughs> a little, okay, because my son's holding the camera. <laughs> Um, but that's really pretty. It's not as much on the outside. It's burnt off a bit. It's more like honey flux, but inside it's pretty. Loving the, um, the circle texture imprinting around the bottom of the mug. That's yeah. really pretty. You know what that is? That I, um, I've been wanting to try that for ages. I've got a Swarovski crystal daisy. So it's got the petals and everything, but it's like the, the, the middle part of it is raised and then the petals fall down so they're out of the way and it's got a stem so i held the stem and i just pushed the middle part in so that's like the middle yeah, that's, um that's really effective i like that yeah. i reckon it would be nice to feel as well getting like thumbprint kind of yeah yeah it's like the um pretty. the pollen part of the flower in the middle yeah but that amaryllis, how pretty is that? You know, often amaryllis is too much for me. Um, that's two coats, I think. And that's really pretty, I like that. Like it, love it, another one, yay. Yay, I needed this for the uh, market. So this one, I actually did bring my hammer for once. That one, um, it's off, oh, because <laughs> it goes to the bottom. Oh, I've got to stop doing that. So that's cobalt with uh, power turquoise over. So that just came in my head because I love blue and green and a lot of people love blue and green. Finally coming on board, I didn't used to like it because you know, blue and green should never be seen without a color in between. Uh, but I love it now. Uh, so yeah, I thought cobalt, which I haven't used in ages and I love with power turquoise over. That's pretty. That's, yeah, that's really pretty. And again, I put one of Sarah Walton's thingies, but I glazed the bottom, so of course it's stuck, so I have to fix that up. But that's nice, I like that. Those, that rippled form is so popular at the markets because it feels so nice to hold. They sell, they always sell at the markets. You son, my beachy, yay! You know, sometimes they can be a bit of a fail if I don't get the, the um, dimensions right whatever you call it but no I like that one could have yeah, maybe been pretty. a little bit higher but I like it so it just looks like waves coming over sand to me so it's um oatmeal sell it on bloom light flux just like just a band of light flux in the middle that's pretty I love that I love how the sell it on bloom looks like bubbles in the ocean yeah it is very yeah. effective it's dribbled inside the handle too. It's very pretty. Yay! Oh, yay! That's what I needed. Mugs, mugs, mugs. Okay, this one. Oh, I don't think I like this one. So I did, you know how I did that uh, Nautilus bowl? I don't know if I told you guys. I gave it to Trace. That was my plan all along. She loved it. She said it was a, her favourite piece that I had ever made ever, which I know she wouldn't just say. So I gave it to her, she didn't know. Um, so I've done another one, but I didn't want to glaze it the same because I, you know, I want that to be hers. So I don't know. Oh, that's weird. I don't know, it's just where they meet. I don't mind the rest of it, it's where they meet. So that is obsidian, which I thought might cover up the texture, but it actually hasn't. It's broken on the texture quite nicely. Uh, and then that is Jungle Gems Cheetah on the rim at Cone 5. So it has run, which I love. I like mine better. Yeah, so do I. And I knew I would. I don't think I could ever beat yours. It's amazing. It's a thumbnail if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, so I like how it's come around the corner, around the circles and the holes with the crystals. I like that. So I do. I like it, but I just don't like where they've met here and it's gone sort of like fluxy kind of looking but it's okay oh and I chatted the outside so the obsidians kind of covered that which I knew it would but I just did it anyway <laughs> but I like the cheetah that's the first time I've used cheetah I like that around with the cutouts I have to remember that when I'm doing my ones like my fruit bowls and stuff to try the jungle gems they react well 
So yeah. Can I always tell when Trace doesn't like anything, she goes silent. Because <laughs> she's so positive, she's like thinking, what can I say that's positive about that? And it's exactly what she's going through. She knows me so well. I know, but she hates it. It's like I've said to you guys before, she would say, she goes silent like that, and then she would say, oh, yes, well, I do like cheetahs. <laughs> Going through my head, but I was like, no, that sounds really corny. I can't say that. <laughs> Usually it's me overthinking, not you. Alright, last shelf. Oh, I got one stuck again. Oh, two stuck. Lucky they didn't fall. Oh, my peacock bowl. Oh my goodness. You're never gonna believe it. It's glorious. So, I'm going to get out of mine. <laughs> that is weird. Again, you'd never guess. That is rose quartz with galaxy. Oh. oh I know. And galaxy is normally grey and black. Now, rose Look quartz. Look at all the colours in that. Colours are stunning, but the rose quartz is horrible again. So, rose quartz, even on the bottom, says it's glossy. So, oh, it's all pitted all in here. Oh, yuck. So that is, um, Lisa Finkel put up a Facebook page challenging people to use their unloved glazes. So I used rose quartz with something a couple of kilns ago and I loved it and I was back on board with it. Can't remember what it was, I'll have to have a look. That's horrible. But look how matte, that's not even satin matte, it's just matte and it's meant to be glossy. I'm not sure whether it's just the colour on, on my phone or Joel's phone that looks quite Peachy brown. brown. It is, yeah. It's like a brownie pink, but yeah, mm. no, that's horrible. Horrible, the horrible. The in the galaxy is beautiful, though. Yeah, that's stunning. I've never seen Galaxy do that. It's always black and grey. That's weird. Mm. Uh, but I don't even know if I can refire that because it's quite raised. It's all pitted inside. I don't think I'll bother. Look at it on the handle here where it's pulled and it's all pitted yuck. So Rose Quartz is back in the yuck, Lisa. It came out of yuck for a minute. It's back in yuck. So that is a shame, but you know what? I can't complain with all the other gloriousness I've had. This is the little, oh, see? How weird is that? Just a different shelf. So I know now that I did the big one correctly because I did them together. I glazed them together. So top shelf, probably a, um, not a five. And that is what I was going for. How funny is that? Look, it dribbled right to the bottom. I don't think it even came off the bottom. So that's just glorious. Winterwood light flux. I love that. That's what that's I wanted. That's a cute little shape too. Yeah. So it's meant to go in there, chopsticks that's along the top, shape, sell yeah. it as a set. And I still, oh, I will, but it's just a shame because I don't even match now. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just keep it here and and refire it. I think I'll just refire it. That's so weird. Such a shame. Alright, so, yeah, I don't know. More light flux and a refire is what's going to happen to that. What is this one? Oh, ew. So that is a shame. So that's more of my painting attempt. So that's jet black under glaze which I did do all over, that's obviously my mistake. And then that is a mint green. So that was um, like an emerald green before I fired it. And then that's, I think I did um, violet and yellow. So obviously, because it's over the jet black. I love that. <laughs> do you? Do yep. you? See, different tastes. It I is. Do. I love that. I wouldn't have liked it with the mint green on it, but I like that yeah. it's that sort of a, a olive green. Yeah. Can't quite tell. Or greeny grey. Um, it looks like a metallic grey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does yeah, actually. It, does it looks really like a charcoal. Like yeah, it looks like a charcoal grey. Or a silver. It's like quite metallic y looking. Because it's got. Oh, that was the other one that I dipped in the dipping clear. So I was worried about that one because it looked really thin. Um, but it's, it's not as glossy, maybe because it was quite thin, but it's still fine. Little flower on the bum. Cute. So yeah, I think. I think that's growing on me already as I look at it because it's just not what I was expecting. But yeah, I think I do love it. Oh, that's no room. 
okay oh what a surprise another pink and purple so that that is um off something that cara at amico said ages ago and i've never got around to trying it and i love it she said that you can put transfers over the top of stable glazes she actually said celadons but that is hi-fi lilac hi-fi white that i love mixed together stable as stable can be the hi-fi range so i put the transfers on it and they've worked brilliantly look at that and then look at how it's gone around that wing <laughs> it couldn't be more perfect that's weird and it's obviously the, the transfers work as like a glaze resist, resist yeah because even there where his little um antenna is that one it's gone over but that's okay and that of course is just soft red oh I love soft red so soft red and and then it gradiates where they meet to cream. I just love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah, I love, love, love that. And I did it on the bump. That's beautiful. More jibbles. Yay. Yay, yay. Last mug. Oh. Oh, that's some. Um, that is those quartz again. Oh, that's dribbled at the handle. So that's rose quartz and amaryllis. I can tell. Where was that one? Uh, rose quartz. Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Rose quartz, amaryllis, flux, blossom. So that's right. So I did uh, rose quartz at the bottom. Again, hate it. Look at the pinholing. Again, it's where it's thick. It's more that frothing that Sarah Walton talks about. That's horrible because I've glazed in the, the carved lines. I've obviously glazed too much or it's caught too much in there. Uh, flux blossom on the top and then I did a band of amaryllis in the middle. With the flux blossom and the amaryllis makes pretty. Yeah, well, look at it inside. It's glorious without the texture. Can you see that? Mm. Can you I see can't it in really the camera? That yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, but that's glorious where it is inside. So maybe I need to try it again with uh, without texture and maybe just two coats of the rose quartz. Maybe that's my problem. So I don't mind just a little bit of the satin or the mat. It's not even satin, the mat at the bottom. I don't really mind that. But it's a pretty combo. I like the combo. It is a pretty combo, yeah. Uh, but look at how much it's run on the handle and it's got on the cookie. <laughs> that's all right. I wouldn't keep it anyway with that, with all that happening. So that's a shame. But guess what's last that I have kept until last? Oh, and somebody commented on YouTube, I keep forgetting to do my kiln favourites. Um, if I do forget, it's always the thumbnail picture anyway. But this one, oh my gorgeousness. Look at what I've done. Look at what my hissy fit did. I'm never <laughs> going to be able to replicate that. That's beautiful. Oh, it's stunning. Yay. So that is uh, two coats winter water over. Oh, I've got to grind that. Two coats of winter wood all over, a third coat about down to about there. But again, I could take it the whole way. So stable winter wood by itself. And then inside, so this is the refi. So you would have seen it last kiln anyway. I did uh, two coats of winter wood. Then I did dots, uh, oh sorry, the W's of light flux. And I think my problem was I did really little W's this time and really little dots of colour. And I usually do bigger. So I think that was why. And then I did dots of the blues, stroke and coats, the blues. Um, Blue Isle was the green one. And then down the bottom was uh, Pinker Dot. So I, um, it didn't run, I just had dots and it was not, it was all right, it wasn't really ugly, but I didn't like it. The pink completely disappeared with the light flux. Oh, and then I did one winter wood all over the top of it, which I forgot to say last time. So what I did with my hissy fit, as I said, I did the blues in a line and then I did a line of uh, blue isle but then down the bottom I did pinkaboo the darker one so pinker dot or pinkaboo whatever the lighter one is I did first time 
the second time I did the darker one, but it's still completely gone. And then I got a squeezy bottle and just squeezed light flux over. So it wasn't a complete cover of light flux with a brush. It was just squeezed on dribbles, which is why you've got these dribbles and runs here. That's ah, beautiful. I don't know what that is. I have to get that off. That is so beautiful. And it doesn't. I like that. That is really pretty. Yeah, and it doesn't have any of the frothing or anything down here where it's pulled. I thought with all that glaze, I would have for sure. Oh, surely that's got to sell, right? Yeah. Anyone who wants it online, three thousand five hundred dollars. Sure. Every time we go, oh, we love that, that's going to sell. Yeah, and then you watch my Petri dish chip and dip fly off the shelf. It's weird. Oh. <laughs> it's weird. I really shouldn't say that because on my business card, I have a QR code to, my, to this. So if somebody takes a business card and watches, I really apologise. <laughs> the chip and dip's beautiful. It's just not my taste. Someone's beautiful. Yeah, somebody will buy it, watch this and go, oh no, I've bought a Petri dish. Well, just put chips and dips in it and you can't see the bottom. <laughs> but that's glorious. Kill and favourite, easy. That's so beachy. Gosh, listen to all the pinging going on over there. All right. Okay, uh, so that's it. So oh, now I can say wish me well on my markets. I'm so nervous. It's a big Central Coast Regional show tomorrow and Sunday. So uh, biggest biggest volume of people-wise show that I've done, but I don't know how I'm going to go sales-wise because people are there for rides and show bags and the shows and all that stuff. Not necessarily to buy pottery, but we will see. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for joining, Trace. Oh, hopefully next time I'll be back there physically. It will be so good. I can't wait. I tried to get her to come up today. Oh, we were meant to shark dive today. Literally. I know you're laughing, but literally we were going diving with sharks today. Both too sick and luckily the organisers allowed us to delay it. So we're doing it in June now, which is our freezing coldest month of the year. That's our winter. So that'll be fun. Uh, so I'm glad we did because I'm feeling, I'm really feeling it today. So uh, that's it. So stay muddy and have a magic day. Bye.